This is a demonstration of an open source syringe pump designed for use in an analytical laboratory. This is an open source project, which can be easily replicated. STL files, Arduino sketch, assembly and operating instructions are available on the website of our scientific group. The syringe pump has a universal clamp. Various syringes with an outer diameter of up to 25 mm can be installed. In this demonstration a 10 ml plastic syringe is used. Usually the exact inner diameter of a plastic syringe is unknown. Therefore, the first step is syringe calibration. Gravimetric calibration is typically used. This laboratory balance can calculate the volume by multiplying the measured weight by a correction factor, which is equal to 1.0035 at 23 degrees centigrade and 760 torr. To simplify further calculations length per volume coefficient of the syringe is set to 10 mm per milliliter. The full refill option is used to completely fill the syringe. Two limit switches allow to control the movement of the carriage and determine the boundaries of the working area. The infused mode is used to dispense fluid. The clearance between the lead screw and the nut produces a backlash or dead zone when the stepper motor changes direction of rotation. Therefore, to increase accuracy a small amount of water should be wasted. At the calibration stage, the target volume is set to 5 milliliters. The length per volume coefficient is equal to 10 millimeters per milliliter, therefore during infusion, the carriage will move forward 5 centimeters. Eight point seven zero seven nine milliliters of water were dispensed. The inner diameter can be calculated using the following equation. It is equal to fourteen point eight nine one millimeters. Additional replicate experiments can improve accuracy. However, in this demonstration, only one measurement is performed. Now it is possible to evaluate the accuracy and reproducibility of the syringe pump. A 10 ml syringe was filled and several 1 ml aliquots were dispensed. All measured values are shown on the screen. It is easy to calculate the average value and standard deviation. The difference between the average and the target value is less than 2 microliters. And the standard deviation is about 3 microliters. That is an outstanding result for a plastic syringe. 
For more information about the syringe pump, please visit mass-spec.ru. Thank you for watching.